Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Thirsty Thursday. The weekend is almost upon us, and, um, you know, it, it's a crazy, silly season right now of the NFL season where there's so much stuff. Uh, it's the 10% rule that I'm calling it right now. Believe about 10% of what you actually hear right now, because a lot of it's, 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 some of it's straight dope. A lot of it's bullshit. It really is. Every player that's released out there will be linked to the Dallas Cowboys linked because of course, America's team, you know, people are fighting for the views right now. It's kind of, you know, people are, 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 are tired because the season is over and they're depressed and they're not really wanting to deal with it. People are checking out. There's not a lot of real news and meat on the bones right now. So people will go through, you know, we all kind of, you know, with the title and the, the thumbnail and stuff, kind of play a little bit and so on. And um, things kind of get a little crazy. And you can kind of tell some of the things that are, are being put out there that are bull crap. I mean, you can go through now and there's so many different channels that aren't even real channels i think it might be somebody in china that's literally cutting and pasting all the shows and turning them sideways and splitting them up and all that so that way they're still getting paid getting that youtube money and getting all those views and stuff but i've always said that i may not be the taste that you like and, you know, I, I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan, and we all are Cowboy fans, and we all have different ways of going about it. I always say that if you don't, if I'm not your taste, that's cool. But there are literally over a hundred Dallas Cowboys YouTube channels, content creators, some big, some small, you know, that are out there, and they're putting out the work and things, and and putting in a lot of work. And if you think this is just, you know, just sit in front of the camera and just let you know, just let it roll, it doesn't work that way. You see 5, 10, 15 minutes, but that doesn't go anywhere near the amount of work, time, and money that goes into putting out that one video. So, enter... Earlier this week, we heard that C.J. Stroud, that the Cowboys were intrigued by the pick of C.J. Stroud. And that kind of started off a firestorm because you have all the Dak Prescott haters out there that are just dreaming of anybody other than Dak Prescott. Okay. You know, they would literally take Jimmy Garoppolo or, or, uh, Derek Carr, you know, they'll say, you know, just get rid of Dak You know, I'll take anybody, you know, just draft a guy. So when they hear a credible, you know, source, a guy who's been in the business forever and you hear him say that the Cowboys are interested in C.J. Stroud, then people kind of perk up and really listen to it. Well, the controversy in here ends up being um, Space Cowboy. Space Cowboy, who one of my first tailgates at FedEx Field, I met Space Cowboy probably about four or five years ago. It was probably five years ago. And he kind of went back and just like, you know, it's one guy who's saying this C.J. Stroud um, thing that nobody really believes is the Cowboys are going to go. It, it wouldn't make any sense. Cowboys would probably have to give up three number ones to move up there, and they're married to Dak Prescott. They're not going to take an $85 million cap hit. You know, I, you could probably – there's ways of saying things when you're not really saying things, but sounds like you're saying things. When you say – the Cowboys are intrigued. Well, the Cowboys are probably intrigued with just about every good player out there. They're intrigued with them. doesn't mean that they're going to go all in and try and get them. And that's the effect that a lot of people did. So Space Cowboy tweeted out a little bit of some content, you know, basically saying, you know, it's one guy doing this. This is clickbait and so on. And so Mike Fisher kind of issued an apology and then my guy, Jay Tuck. Jay Tuck, who is huge, huge on Twitter. And we did the Dallas Cowboys roundtable to start the season. Uh, he's really good friends with my man, DMV, and things. In fact, I'd love to do more work and stuff with Jay Tuck. He's, you know, he's, again, he's another one of those guys that works really, really hard and is not getting necessarily all the numbers yet. 
And I'm going to tell you, if you do Twitter, you know who Jay Tuck is. Definitely check out his channel because he does. He is an incredible guy. I met him actually in the draft in 2016. I think it was 2016 in Chicago. And I wish I had that clip from it, but it was lost on my other channel. But here is actually Jay Tuck's response as well as Mike Fisher's apology Let's listen in. And what I've done that I've realized has stepped on way too many toes, including some guys uh, and gals who over the years have messaged me saying, uh, will you come on our show? Can we meet in Oxnard? Which I, I, always, I always try to do. And so I've met a lot of these guys, at least very briefly. But I'm coming to realize that our CJ Stroud story isn't about really a lack of trust in our reporting. What it's done is cause uh, people who feel like I've elbowed them in the face for the sake of humor or, or driven by arrogance or whatever, and now they're getting their chance to elbow me back. So, what? What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Real Cowboys fans stand up. Yo, just a quick heads up. This is not going to be a football video, but stay tuned. We got some draft bangers coming. But I want to talk about a situation because a lot of you know I was actually out in Memphis for the past week. So there was a lot going on with the Dallas Cowboys that I didn't get a chance to chime in on. But I wanted to talk about now since I'm back home. And the very first one is the situation when it comes to Mike Fisher. Now, for a lot of people who follow me on Twitter, I was extremely vocal about Mike Fisher, and I'll tell you why. Um, but kind of give you some back history, right? Before it was CFO Sports or any of this that you see today, right? Back when I had about 200, 400 followers on, on, on Twitter, right? Me and Mike Fisher had our back and forth in 2017 when it came to the Ezekiel Elliott trial, right? And, you know, it was about him not playing and different things like that. But I will say this. Mike Fisher in that interaction is the reason why I exist today mm -hmm. because I learned the power that the community has versus some people who put themselves on a higher standard and things are starting to change. So everything's going to come back full circle. So we know that Mike Fisher this past week dropped the video about the Dallas Cowboys are intrigued mm -hmm. in drafting CJ Shroud. Now mm -hmm. I'll say this, right? I've said this numerous times. It is the off season. It is clickbait season. 10% rule. Fans protect yourselves at all costs. And we are just getting started. So I understand it. If you really can't dance in this arena, how a lot of us dance, draft content, film breakdown, all sorts of things that we do to kind of stay afloat. It gets dry. It gets a little patchy until you can get post draft when it comes to Cowboys content. So I understand it. If Mike Fisher isn't going to clickbait you, somebody else will. You know, so I think from a fan's perspective, it's a little frustrating knowing that it's coming from someone who's inside the Cowboys organization, who's kind of trusted, right? If it was Skip Bayless, it's just kind of is what it is. But I think that's the, the frustration when it comes to a lot of people and Mike Fisher specifically mm. with these clickbait videos, right? So my guy, Space Cowboy, huge fan of Space. That's my brother. Salute to Space. We hung out a few times. He posted a video, right? And, he, you know, he kind of said some things about Mike Fisher and, you know, the clickbait article or in clickbait, uh, you know, videos, right? And now here is where space and I separate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Space's, you know, frustration with Mike was really about the article and the clickbait in the in, in, in the content. My frustration is completely in a different direction. I'll explain it why, right? Mm -hmm. So Mike Fisher responded to space and he kept saying YouTubers, 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 right? Now, from this standpoint, right? Like, let's talk about it. You're on your YouTube talking down you. on YouTubers. It just didn't sit right with me. 
And from this perspective, and Mike Fisher even said it in his own apology, when he wanted to build his YouTube channel, he reached out to some of the hard hitters that we're all familiar with. My brother Law Nation, right? Um, he reached out to Skywalker. He was, you know, reaching out to Mark Holmes to really build up this YouTube thing, right? But then that's perfectly fine. But once he got to a certain level of comfort, now it's he wants to stand on the podium and kind of view down on us. So the same people that help build and grow your channel, now you want to stand on a platform and act like you're better than them, right? And so the term he kept using in his video was these guys in his mom in their mama's basements, right? And oh, look, y'all can look behind. This ain't my mama's basement. Y'all seen y'all see me do live shows from my mama's house, Mama Tuck's house out in Dallas. This ain't our base. This is Jay Tuck's property, right? But let me ask y'all, does this look like we are in our mama's basement? So for those of you who do not know, that's me, Jay Tuck. That is Boss Cowboy Sports at Dallas AT&T Stadium interviewing Jay Novacek, the legend, one of my favorite tight ends, and Isaiah Stanbeck, right? Now, for you guys who really don't understand, my guy, Boss Cowboy, had wireless mics, he had headsets, he had loudspeakers, he had his computer to do the live stream, we live streamed the show, he produced the show while we're doing the interviews. He did an amazing job getting all of this just in order for you guys, the viewers. And I wasn't even supposed to be there. I was just out, you know, I was actually just walking by, having some drinks with my mom. And I'm like, oh, yo, what's up, boss? And he's like, yo, I need help, Tuck, jump in. And just like that, we were able to jump in and provide you guys, the YouTube community, an inside interview with the Dallas Cowboys legend and a guy who works for the Dallas Cowboys and also played for the Dallas Cowboys. Just like that. There was no notes needed. No, nothing, right? Spontaneous, right? And we did such an incredible job. Jay Novacek was like, yo, you guys are awesome. This was a fun interview, right? I enjoyed this. I had a blast. Keep doing it. Keep doing what you guys are doing. I love the content. You guys definitely know your stuff. This is from Ring of Honor, Jay Novacek. Mm -hmm. Talking to just some YouTubers, all right? So... What just not in their mama's basement. have to understand the Mike Fishers of the because not just Mike Fisher, right? There are some other people, and I deal with it. The days of old media is no longer. It doesn't exist. This is no longer the 1980s, and you have the one guy who writes for the Dallas Morning Newspaper, and he's the end-all, be-all. Things have changed. It is 2023, and in 2023... Us YouTubers, we got credentials now. We're at the Super Bowls. We're at AT&T Stadium. We're at the Pro Bowls. We're at the NFL drafts, right? Now, here is the difference. I could use this, right? Jay Tuck, NFL draft, right? In my community and do live shows with Boss Cowboy and Big Game James and Law Nation and Vosh Lombardi and say, hey, I'm the actual insider. I'm the guy you guys should come to for all draft content and try to belittle them to lift myself up. That is not what we do in our community. Because when you have to sacrifice time away from your family, your kids, your wife, your husband, your job, and really build your channel from the ground up to, to have what we have today, you respect each and every individual in it, big or small. If you have 200 subscribers, I'm your biggest fan because I know that you had to develop the courage to come on, turn on your laptop and start. If you have a thousand, whatever, Eagles content creators, Washington, I do not care. If mm -hmm. you are a content creator, J Tuck understands your sacrifice. Amen. So what I'm not going to allow people to do is turn their nose up on our community like we don't do anything like we're nobodies guys in the basement because we're not we are the forefront media has changed people go to twitter 
People don't read newspapers anymore. People damn near read website articles anymore. Kids are on TikTok. They want two minute content. Content. They want reels on Instagram. They go to Twitter to get their articles. And if you come to Twitter, who are you going to see if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan? Right? Jay Duck. Guaranteed. So you're going to see Jay Duck. I asked for Mike Fisher. I heard the apology. Do I think it was genuine? Absolutely not. It was kind of like, oh, those are those are my friends, right? Those are my friends. Law Nation. He has the passwords to my channel. Well, I haven't seen Law Nation on your channel recently. Mark Holmes, those are my friends, you know, so I apologize if I was playing a little too rough and I, and I bumped them and elbowed them. And now that's that's not the case. Right. What I'm trying to get to a lot of people is one. Our community deserves the respect, the proper respect because of the work that we do. And there's so many people that are in the same position as Mike Fisher that mm -hmm. gives us that respect. Yes. Michael Gelkin, Kyle Yeoman, uh, you know, the, the guys at 105 through the fan always reach out to him like, yo, Tuck, keep things moving. Calvin Watkins, Clarence Hill, Jane Slater. Let's talk about Jane Slater for a second. Jane Slater, NFL Network, ESPN, Dallas Cowboys, credentialed up just like the best of them. What did Jane Slater do with her brand? She reached down to the community and brought in our girl Aisha Morrison, brought in my girl Jess, right? And they are now doing a phenomenal job on DallasCowboys.com. Each one, teach one. That is the message my mm -hmm. guy, Darren Smith, who was an insider for the Kansas City Chiefs to the point he was in the Super Bowl confetti smoking cigars with those. He said, you know what? I am a Chiefs insider. I have all the power, all this insight, right? But this guy, Jay Tuck, he is insane right now with the amount of work that he does. I'm going to help uplift. So that's what I'm about. If you are not here to uplift the community and use your leverage and build, then I apologize. But guess what? You're always going to see me in front standing for my brothers and sisters in this community that does a phenomenal job. Because there's Amen. so many people that <clears throat> sacrifice a lot a lot to do what we do and we do incredible work we do incredible work and really a lot of us don't get compensated the proper how we should be properly compensated so what i'm not going to allow people to do is come into our community take from it and then turn their nose up at us it's just not going to happen so for mike fisher i'll say i accept your apology but there's still work to be done there's a lot of people reaching out to both of us. They want to do a live show together with me and him and kind of, like I said, it's not a hate thing because I don't colonize on my channel. I never once say, you know what? Watch J Tuck CFO Sports. Never watch Mike Fisher. Never watch Law. No, watch my channel. Go watch their channels. Form your own opinion. That's how I do. I don't need to keep you in house. If I feel like I have to suppress others to build myself up, then be honest. I really ain't that damn good at my job, man. It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Ooh. Comment, like, subscribe. Turn your notification bell. Follow me on all social media. There you go. Jay Tuck put it perfectly. You know, he's 100% right about, you know, building the community. You know, I... I do everything I can to try and help out others. Um, you know, my man DMV, of course, you know, game time and prime time and, uh, you know, as well as others trying to build it up. You know, this is not easy. And when you think about the years that I have put into this, the amount of money, the time, the time away from my wife and my family and things like that, this is a lot of work and it is a lot of love to go in here. And I'm not disputing what credentialed, individuals you know that have been there that are there at the star and things like that they have their place in things in media as well but things like jay tuck have said have evolved where you know it used to be we would wait for the dallas weekly connection to come in the mail on thursdays we'd wait till sports illustrated came out on friday we'd have to wait till the next morning to get the newspaper um those things are gone. And now, like you said, the attention span of people, people want to, they, they don't want to read. 
they don't want to go out in the street and pick up the newspaper. They don't want to turn pages in in a uh, magazine. They want to go swipe, swipe. That's all they want to do. And you can't just disrespect others to make yourself look good. What my wife used to always say, or my mother used to always say, is the reason why people are bullies is because of the lack of their own self-confidence. And it makes them feel better by making others feel worse. Now, I'm not going to say that that's Mike Fisher or things like that, but it's crazy that YouTube now is like the wild, wild west. And the floodgates are open for the ESPNs and, you know, all of the talking heads that are, you know, all coming here to stake their claim and trying to kick us all aside. And this is where I kind of have said with, you know, my man Simus, as well as, you know, uh, Duke Bothers. I'm going to have Duke Bothers on here in the future. But we're emailing and stuff and we're looking at doing something on Monday. The war is in between us YouTubers. The war is actually all of these big corporation sports news companies that are coming in with bullshit. You know, you expect it on first take and, you know, all these cowboys hates and stuff like that. That's where the real fight is between us and the bullshit. So... Uh, like Jay Tuck, I'm not going to tell anybody what to like, what to like, and what not to like. You know, you may like me, you may not like me. That's great. And if you don't, guaranteed there are others out there that you will love. But don't disrespect somebody's grind. It might not be your taste, but it still takes a lot of work. And I applaud my man Jay Tuck for putting it out there. And I hope that you check him out as well as all of the YouTubers out there and find the ones that you love. And as always, I appreciate you guys. Peace.